How's it going? <clears throat> How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Henry Sickman Collection. Glad I realized my mic was on the floor when I did. <laughs> How's it going, guys? My name is Graham. Welcome back to the Henry Stickman Collection. This is episode four, Fleeing the Complex, the last of the remasters before we're moving on into the final, completing the mission, which is very exciting. We got 60 fails, 15 achievements, and 75 bios to hunt down. It's growing very quickly. These episodes are getting quite long, but I'm I'm very excited, and it's been so awesome. I, I mean, it's a new day here, new new shirt, <laughs> new continuity, coffee instead of beer. We're we're in a new part of our lives here. But overnight, it's been so exciting to see the response that these videos have had. People have been so kind, and it's ah, oh, it's just amazing. So thank you all for for sticking around and watching it along with me here. Welcome to the wall. Some of the most cunning and notorious criminals are kept here. I would say this is the game I remember the least. You're going to be here for a long time. Grigori, take him. It's probably... Oh, I missed Gregory. You wait here until so There's still time. <laughs> it's probably the game that also required the least like editing to bring up to a, a remaster like i'm sure he redid some of the backgrounds i know he completely like that opening shot of the cliffside base there completely redid all the shading and everything made the snow something other than flat white uh added some like nighttime coloration and everything but like in terms of the animation and all that it's probably still at like a pretty overall high level I'm going to solo it for a few things. I think when we do the boost, we start incorporating Ellie, L, Ellie, right away. I can confirm that very quickly and easily. Ellie Rose. She's locked up in this place, too. But why? We got, like, an Illuminati thing going on there behind that. And back in jail, huh? The icy cold cells of the wall will be hard to escape from. But, you know, boost brings her in. I'm going to go, uh, wait, wait for transfer. We just chill out super hard. Oh, she got taken away first. Have a good time. It seems uh pretty pretty boring in here. Not a lot to do. Can we just go to bed? Can we just ride this out? That's one ending. Just stay in jail. This life of crime has been exhausting. I've I've kept it up as long as I can, but it's time to to just wait it out. In escaping the prison, we're given a cake that has like the different things in it. Here we don't really have anything. Teleporter, classic, same button sequence, but the animation is different every time and the result is quite different. <laughs> My life for I her. I love the voice acting for Zelots in StarCraft as a whole, but then there's Felix. Ah, oh, so good. Good game, no re. <laughs> Just leave it at that. I liked playing as the Protoss as well, and I would just try to rush Dark Templar, even though that's like not a strategy. I tried to make it a strategy. It didn't really didn't really pan out. The sonic pulse, it hurt my ears. And it's nowhere near as useful as that punch gun from infil infiltrating the airship. That one was way better. Laser plane. We've had mixed luck with lasers overall. That seemed effective. I can't, I can't biocheck the guy who got crushed to death. I was a little bit curious what maybe he had going on. Ooh, I like that depending on, like, which ending you want to consider canon here, you can carry forward as having, like, an alliance of either the Top Hat clan or the government. We never really see how we end up in jail. I Maybe that builds off one of those, one of those endings? Doesn't matter. Let's call in... Charles first, because he's the best. Yeah? Love this boy. Oh, Henry. Oh, how's it going? Uh-huh. It's not great. Oh. Had better, at least. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. Huh. Are you just yeah, constantly uh, airborne? Now, actually. Where, oh. Uh, where are you? He acknowledges that it's not an all-the-time yeah, thing. I think I've heard of that place. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on a mission, but uh, I should have some time to swing by. <laughs> One hour later. Hey, just so, totally uh, sit tight. Pretty close. Yeah, just uh, try to get outside and I'll, I'll uh, nice. you know. Glad I managed to snag all those. Hey. He just bailed on his whatever mission it was he was doing. 
you're you're on like a contract or something, Charles. People are paying you for that work, but I am pretty stoked that you came to help. The one time water bending came up, I kind of joked about it being Avatar related because I just had my first watch through of the last Airbender, and then in like infiltrating the airship, there was metal bending, and now all of a sudden we're getting straight up air bending. I want to see him do like really aggressive push on that. It's that's the straight up from the show. It's like as earth bendy as it could have been. Oh, it's a room full of earth benders somehow for some reason. I really got to go to Russia, apparently. They got some interesting oh, yeah. things going on there. You were doing so well. It was coming together great. Funny to have a wasted Grand Theft Auto thing. I'm sure this is around the time that Grand Theft Auto V would have come out, but it's just funny how that has nothing to do with earth bending. Bubble shield. Impenetrable. But can we really, are we just stuck in there now? Can we not exit that? Everyone's just kind of waiting it out. Perfect. Now you won't get hurt. I do not know who that is. I don't know what this bubble shield is probably a reference to and then what that connection is. Someone might have to fill me in on that one. Doesn't stand out. The Flash. Where do we get all these incredible abilities? Where are you going? The Flash what? is a dope hero, but that was just kind of teleportation. So, uh, Why do we have wall. the teleporter so ever? Nice. I think I see you. Yeah, there's a guard in the way. I got this. Yeah, it'll, it'll be just it doesn't like expect you to get the buy. I was way zoomed out yeah. like that. Charles, double thumbs up. He's ex as excited as he could possibly be. You're gonna try and snipe while you're flying? Got him. I think maybe Wait. you were a little too far out. <laughs> Ooh, friendly fire on. Come on, Charles, think that through. Oh, yeah. Just pick me up, I'll just grab a hold of the little bars there and zip away. I guess you want to take him down first. Hey, I'm seeing a helipad up here. Be a pretty good place. Every single solution yeah, like should just though, be though, helicopters. <laughs> like, yeah, no matter what the issue is, I'm just. So solve it with various helicopter sizes of helicopters a swarm of little tiny helicopters one mega helicopter I guess that's basically what the airship was and so on let's just bail seems like too much we really should have coordinated that better maybe I need a headset and I really really don't have anything of my own there I don't know how we're, we're just kind of Winging this as best we can. It doesn't seem like we have the immediate feedback that we need through our communications. Report Charles. Bad teammate. Get him kicked. Don't want him in there anymore. <laughs> I like how that guy just gave up. Uh, I got kicked. You could clearly just stand back up and grab that. We, we backed him down. International rescue operative. Wow. All right. That was like a pretty speedy progression towards reaching a, a, a possible ending there. That went quite well. I feel like we didn't have to do any near near as many failures as I thought we would have. That's pretty good. We had like five failures to get to there. That's like a, that's a straight and narrow. That's pretty solid. I'm proud of that. And the funny thing is, is that technically because I have one ending, I could move on to completing the mission, which now all of a sudden has this very tempting quality to it. But of course, I'm, I'm going to stay and like revisit all the possibilities here. For a second, that seemed like it would work. Oh, right. The bazooka. Yes. Overlooked the devastation that that single-handedly could cause. Well, that went about as poorly as it could have. Yeah, that was some bad execution. Maybe, maybe if we tried it a second or third time and just you picked up the pace a little, you know, try and set a, set a very specific time there. Getting a rocket right up the... Oh, we shot the helicopter. That makes more sense. Trying to directly hit a person with a rocket wasn't the most logical. I guess it's difficult to make a map that makes sense. The phone a friend, that's funny. The way that it would have uh, for laying out a map of a prison or uh, laying out the museum or any of that. The, I guess the airship was just kind of like a comms device, like computer device as well. So this map is informative. 
if not a little generic. I really liked that the prison one followed a specific thing. This complex is probably just too huge for that. I got the perfect plan. This is the greatest plan. <laughs> yeah, okay. That seems to be his go-to move. Not again. You should know better. I mean, how does how does the logic of that work? How many t are are we aware of all previous failures? Fake illness. Yeah, but is like a runny nose going to convince anyone of anything? You got to start spewing far more toxic, disgusting liquids from more <laughs> orifices if you want anyone to, to really think that that's something's going wrong there. Huh. Well, they really really wrecked us on that one. <laughs> Quarantining is kind of weird, just given current life circumstances. Wait, you don't like your new friends? I do want to just quickly see if this guy has his own bio. I'm guessing we... Ah, uh, you can't click him. It's probably the same guy who threw us in there. Post ending. Probably would have been a good time, time to check up on the, the endings. Dmitry Johannes Petrov, the Warden of the Wall. There hasn't been any sort of breakout in the 50 years he's been in charge. This is a weird random thing that I'm just curious about. I want to see if he reused these one, two, and three buttons. He did. I don't know why I was curious about that. I just want to see if they had unique artwork. And he's charging $15 for this. Nuts. Nah, great. Don't take jokes like that seriously. This game is so great. <laughs> Gregory Olyat, the warden's second in command and main muscle. He gets brought in for the difficult jobs. He's also lucky enough to be a right-hand man who gets a, a real name. People don't just call him by his rank or position. It's uh, something unique that the Walls got going on that people like the Top Hat clan have not quite figured out. Charles Calvin. He doesn't mind helping out an old ally, even if he's currently on a mission. Bail. Forget about it. You better be available come completing the mission, though. You got the best plans. Ready to help at the drop of a top hat? I want you around there, Charles. Willie Wagner, a fairly recent employee of the wall, still getting into the swing of things. Nadia Marikova. She's here as part of an inter internship. Her real dream is to open up her own complex. You gotta start somewhere. Learn the inner workings there and, and build up to it. It's a pretty high ambition, though. Nadia Marikova. Ah, oh, why does this happen sometimes with the with the bios? Like, if I go back to the... Um, now all of a sudden all of them are saying it. I, I probably just have to, like, go do some other things and come back to it. I'll have to remember to check up on that. It's a shame that I similarly missed a few from the last time because of that. We're still playing, like, the 1.0 release build of the game. So, you know, they're, they're probably putting together a list of bugs and getting ready to fix them. This... Hopefully is going to be more useful than just eating cheese. Is it going to be like grow and shrink like Alice in Wonderland? Oh, yeah. How curious. How is that a fail? Limitless possibilities. <laughs> the numerous times we've grown ourselves before is always great. Shrinking ourselves, not so much. How, how curious. I think that's probably something Alice says when she finds the mushrooms or... It's, a, it's, a, it's an Alice thing. <laughs> well, play dead. You just play dead too. You gotta get on board with this plan. Can't just be me. <laughs> yeah, no new one, Henry. Okay, that was. He's dead. That's some effective yes. dead playing. Put him with others. Okay. You guys just have a death trash? <laughs> Pretty convincing there. A little too. That would, without the subtitles, you wouldn't have a clue what he's saying on the other end there. I'm glad I have that turned on. Charge tackle. Just take him out. Oh, that worked oh, no, really, no. really well. No, oh, the, the quick times have begun. Although, for a second, it seemed like maybe there weren't going to be oh, yeah. any. Notice that timer? Now you know exactly how much time you have before your terrible reflexes are revealed. For a second, it seemed like none was going to come up, and I decided to just take the take that first fail. It's funny how he looks behind him. He's like, is this going to start becoming a thing? Yeah, that's probably exactly what they wanted, man. In fact, I think you ran into the cell that you get transferred into. Oh, you managed to find a cell on your own. What a responsible prisoner. I was just trying to stretch my legs. Get some activity into my day. Speed shoes. Sonic, activate. 
but it's a little hard to slow down. Too fast for you. Well, the, the, you could probably make better use of that. Acrobatics. Great leap. Front flip. Handstand. Leet gets used so often in these games. Nine. Nine. That's a good question about the boxes. I do really like the, uh, the like, meta commentary of, like, the two, not even two seconds, a second and a half of a conversation you get from characters in these games where they're just like, yeah, I don't know, and then he was arrested and we never heard from him again. Which, that was back in, like, Stealing the Diamond where the... the now all of a sudden I'm going on a huge tangent here. Ted McAdams shows up in Stealing the Diamond talking about it, and then he got arrested. And at the time I thought he was talking about Henry. I thought back on it while editing. He was probably talking about his buddy Winston getting arrested. Your hands are still covered up, you know. Can you even shoot web? Shot web? I cannot shot web. I don't think I can shoot it either, though. But the bounds of my powers have yet to be fully discovered or appreciated. It's like when Superman, every other day, finds a new thing that he can do. Toy gun, no clip. Let's just fly straight through, then. Oh. oh, this is the same guy from the roof. Connection terminated. You've been kicked from fleeing the complex for cheating. Ah, oh, no. Cheaters never prosper. That seemed like crazy effective. I'm just going to let that uh, play out. That was a lot of momentum you had sliding along on that. You know, I don't think this guy knows what he's saying. About the boxes? I don't... Oh, wait, the, narr the narrator guy? Is he referring to himself almost? Boo! Well, that was great. You guys have to keep looking at me, not looking at me? Oh, sir, I got a message. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, it looks like uh, Henry Stickman. Does he just have two of the same yeah, degree, Henry just Stickman one's bigger? Escape. You still there? Attention, we have an escaped convict. He's last seen heading towards the surface. People are running around oh, really wildly there. Oh, you can't. These are selections. They're options. I was trying to bio these guys. I'm going to come back to that momentarily because when I click the item block, one of them is a shoop de whoop Oh my god, I just like knocked him out. He turned into like a weird watermelon for some reason. What the hell? But also when you're boo, doesn't it only work when they don't? Uh, sir, look? No, when they message. are looking at you. Yes, go ahead. When they yeah, don't look at you. Like oh, they're acknowledging the stickman stickman thing there. Still Great. There? As soon as I saw that there was a shoop there, bro, no, getting real tired of seeing this guy. Yeah, like he's totally going to be a, a, another thing here, Waldorf. <laughs> I'm looking forward to tracking him down. Like he wouldn't exist here unless he was something that could be interacted with. Ah, oh, so he's going to come up again elsewhere in the game? Because I couldn't seem to activate it that time. We got our punch-out guy here, Big Bungo, or whatever. I, I, I honestly have no clue. I've never really played Punch-Out. <laughs> Just, ooh, got him good. He did get knocked the F out. That was pretty, quite the clobbering he received. Well, obviously, I want the tank, but I want to do a quick showdown with Karlov here. You stabbed it straight in his chest and groin. He's dead, right? Oh, it's final, uh, not Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem. Oh, who is that? He's up here somewhere. We cannot let him get through this gate. Oh, nice art. <laughs> nice art. <laughs> there's a little, there's like a little bit Irish going on there for some reason. And the way that the accents, Puffball's commitment to doing all the characters himself is pretty fantastic. I just don't want to forget to grab this guy running out of the door here, so I'm spam clicking like crazy there. He's yeah. Once I see those things come up, I got to grab them in the moment or else I'm going to forget to come back to it. <laughs> Which, that was a, a good a time as any to start revisiting some, some bios. Gary Mann. Oh, oh, that's Gary's mod. I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but I like how it's just a bunch of question marks to go along with that. Thormund Rylock. Actually, was he a three-star rarity? Where the heck did I even grab that guy? His, uh, he finds his work post fairly dull and uneventful. He relishes a challenge. Ooh, that's why he was so excited to shoot me down, was he? Taken, taken full pride in that? <laughs> who was it who didn't work when I was clicking around on these? 
Oh yeah, we read about Nadia, and then ugh, Nadia is the thing that breaks it. Then, so I can't ever click on her. I guess. Oh damn it! Now they're all starting to do that. It's a strange glitch. Well, I guess we'll revisit those a little later. The sandwich, which back at the end of escaping the prison or stealing the diamond, you're out on on the front steps. It was totally escaping the prison, and there's like that whole thing about the guy in Sandwich City, and I was like. This is Sandwich City? That's ridiculous. And someone was like, well, in the comments, pointed out, isn't that obviously just the name of a sandwich shop? And that makes more sense. I was really excited for the thought that maybe these games took place in Sandwich City. I don't think it's anything quite that exciting. Oh, we're going full Castle Crashers. Oh, you think you could stand a chance there? Come on, come on. Maybe they're... Well, you didn't have to immediately give up as soon as you were regular Stickman again. Being Buffman was great and all, but you kind of had the upper hand. Element of surprise. This one weird trick will make you super buff. Weightlifters hate him. <laughs> uh, steal the truck. You want to trade? What was he getting ready to trade? Like, uh, phone numbers or something, was it? Oh god, there's a bunch of guys like on the backs of those tanks and things. Must collect all bios. <laughs> shoot! Shoot the back! Someone left their gun behind. Very distracted. Charles can shoot a sniper and fly a helicopter with mixed results, but try to shoot a gun and drive a truck? Eyes on the road, man. It's a bit too much, too difficult, too much to think about. Bail! Oh, parachute. I don't know where we got yet another parachute. I feel like we've we encountered one of those per mission. You should have followed up with a tether from your wrist-strapped grapple hook. What do you mean you don't have one of those? Is that supposed to be like Batman in one of the Batman movies? I legit can't remember. One of the Christopher Nolan ones. Only that guy. Only that guy was an extra one. Just being thorough. And slam on the... Oh, I thought I meant slam on the brakes. Well, that worked very well up to a point. <laughs> <laughs> that it worked dramatically not well. I have to say, Henry, I'm impressed. Really, I am. You're the first Just let me go. to escape the wall, but this is the end for you. I kind of want to hear what he has to say. Here, Henry. You stay in there, or you return with us back to the complex. I like how you're, like, it's thinking of options. Hmm. Well, that's just too bad. All right, everyone back to work. I will not forget about this. I wouldn't have thought that worked out. Hmm. Guess that guy should have stuck around, presumed dead. Should have stuck around to make sure he saw that one through. Ooh. There's an interesting thing I learned when uh, talking to and interviewing Puffballs there, is that in Presumed Dead, in the original Flash version, he gets on like an airplane and flies away. But, for the continuity of completing the mission, it was altered so that he's just kind of left wandering the cold. So I'm kind of curious to see how that comes back around and, and pays off. I well, we'll warp star first. Because that's going to be the most exciting one. His eyebrows. I guess everyone's eyebrows are way above their head. It just stands out more on that guy because he's got the bushy eyebrows. <laughs> how could that possibly fail? That's so funny and so weird. It's like the jetpack of escaping the prison that you just end up back in this room. I did not see that coming at all, and I don't remember if that's changed from the Flash version. That's too good. I love that kind of self-referential stuff and, like, callback humor. Brilliant. Airbag de deployed. Deploy! <laughs> it took a second. Oh, it just... It just chucked me straight out. Surrender? Right We're just gonna go back and be locked up again, right? Oh, unless that starts a new branch? Ah, uh, fail. Maximum security? What an honor. <laughs> just get to stick around in solitary, but you get to live. There's a lot of not living in many of these endings. Huh. Not even close, baby! <laughs> Is that a donkey? <laughs> donkey reference? That's too good. I, the, the simplicity and immediacy of that one is pretty funny that you just... It only took him two shots. Terrible reaction time overall. Costume! I thought you were just gonna put a big question mark on your face. <laughs> 
Those guys need to chill. Get some Arnold in there. Ah, I can't click on it for some sort of Arnold Mr. Freeze reference achievement. All right. I loved that. We're going back to the bios to try and read this guy. Damn you. Why are you this random character that we don't know? I'm trying to, like, reset. Ah, it's stuck in a loop. I'll select Henry. Exit out of it. Come back. Damn it. It might be specifically that one that's not working, because I can definitely keep going with these other guys now. Friedrich Spielen. Or it's just Frederick, but it looks like Friedrich. One in a group of members that doesn't speak any English. He supposedly speaks German? Harold Cooper. Got the job at the ball through his German friend. His English isn't the best, but he's fluent in German. Are you guys just German compatriots here? Will Speck. He's the type of guy that won't stop trash talking the other team when watching a sports game. Even if they can't hear. <laughs> it's just, just basing that off the fact that he's heckling at all times. Luis Stoop. He likes his job at the wall, but hates his stationed out hates being stationed out in the cold. Coco Kalinski. I was so close to getting that name right. He used to fight professionally, but after losing to a first time fighter, he hung it up to work at the wall. Kor Karlov Chernik, a master swordsman hired by the wall to train the employees. His skill with a blade is something to behold. Just in case your many assault rifles and bazookas and tanks and things don't work out, you gotta have those backups. Carl Pinkerton. He may not look it, but he's traveled the world. His head's looking like an orange, isn't it? That's gotta be a reference in some way. I had to look that up, and I don't understand what Carl Pinkerton has to do with anything here. Do you know what? This character must have, like, a Scottish accent. I That's, like, the one thing I have to think here. Let me go back and figure that out. All right, he's up there somewhere. We cannot let him get through this gate. Oh, nice that. Yeah, okay, so there's one random character there who is Scottish for no reason, just to mix things up. So the name doesn't have anything to do with anything, but his head's looking like an orange, isn't it? Is from, so I married an ax murderer, a 1993 film where Mike Myers plays a Scottish guy way before Shrek, way, way before. And there's like a kid with red hair whose head is in the way of the TV. And he's like, ah, get out of the way. Your head's looking like an orange on a toothpick. And so for some reason, there's one Scottish character and they decided to reference that random movie from 1993. Had to look that up. Had to know. S strange, but worth it. Newt Stoneheel. The Stoneheel family is known for their strangely dense feet. Franz Preferred. Honestly, he's pretty clueless most of the time. He's just meant to look menacing with a spear. That mustache really adds to the overall effect of menace. Daniel Dolce. He's lived in the area all his life and really knows how to handle the environment. Limoy Cruitz. They call him DK for a while. It's short for doesn't know how to drive. He's since gotten his license. <laughs> Jimothy Johnston. They've never had to take the car out before, so he's really just winging it. Jimothy. I swear there was another Jimothy. Mm, Jimothy Pug. Apparently it's a, a more common name than you would expect. I, I just wanted to know if it was the same Jimothy. Jim Pinkson. He loves jelly and jelly sandwiches, so there's so many possible combinations. Jelly and jelly. Like, does he love jelly and he loves jelly sandwiches, or he loves a sandwich where the components are jelly and jelly? That does open up a lot of possibilities. There's a lot of different jellies out there that you could combo together. Jelly Jelly and Jelly Sandwiches? A, a bridge too far. He's not willing to go there. Lee Bumbler. He dreams of starting his own gaming company. He's already got a name picked out. Named after himself. Bumbler? Bumbler Games? Lee? Lee Bumbler? Bumbler Lee? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for, like, a recognizable something there. Kato Ito. He's known how to bend since childhood. He kept it a secret until this moment. That does sound a lot like an Avatar character. I don't know if it's a specific one at all. 
Ryan Halberd, one of the youngest employees at the wall. His dad is one of the higher ups, so he gets special treatment. I'll keep an eye out for a Halberd. I don't know if that's come up yet. Sten Velo, his favorite post is on the fire escape. He can watch the snow fall into the ocean below. Sounds pretty serene. Ken Kurjru Johansson. He gets a lot of slack for wearing sunglasses at night. That's just his style, baby. <laughs> sunglasses at night, isn't that like a Corey Hart thing? I would have expected that as a reference. Alex Kempter. He's been trying to get a SAM turret installed in the complex for years, but can't get through the bureaucracy. So instead he just has to, like, hold a, a giant bazooka rocket launcher. Ray Rudolfo. He's come down with a case of leprosy, so he's been put into quarantine with the other sickly inmates. It's very poor quarantine when everyone has a little bit something different and they all just get mishmashed together there. I think you're going to get mixed results from that. The yard, I avoided going to this one because I know it's a fail and I know what it is from a video I had made on the second channel. But let's kind of let that play out. See how it's different this time around. <laughs> it's creepy as hell. <laughs> Plus, there's an extra little scare there. It's over a hundred haunted. No, it wasn't scary. I love how, like, non-committal that is. I don't think he redid any of the art for this sequence. The background, yes, but the, the actual, like, Freddy art, I think is the same as it had been. I did, like, a all Freddy references in other media. Video games, movies, comic books, TV shows. It's like a 30-minute video of all the different references. And that made it into the video, so that's, like, the one thing from this game that I do remember, like, quite well. Oh, Advanced Wars. Every one of these is like a different video game oh, yeah. playing out. Gee, tanks, a lot. Oh, you gotta, you gotta love those puns. That branches out those two endings back to the start. This time, this time we'll take the boost. Initiate the co-op branch of possible endings. Mm. It's very sheep-like. <laughs> Rather than just like, <clears throat> wow, are you going to come back and lift her up there? Because like, it seems like reworking together is, is going a long ways to helping both of you. Oh, perfect. There's a lot of hair physics going on there. Thanks. And I'm like, look at how much I care. I don't care. I ended up buffing up my guys and doing like 70 damage. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Super funny guy, cool story. They really like these types of spears. For whatever reason, they've committed to that throughout their, their complex here. I mean, if you distract, only one of you is getting out of here, right? There's like a Tetris block made out of bricks for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that, but I, I like it. It's a good dance. He's into it. Oh, he's going to join along. Oh, she's going to get a couple side claps. I, uh, uh, just, what? <laughs> that's, that's 30, that's half the fails there. Well, that seemed like it worked out great. We should have asked these guys to join us. The synchronized takedown. Well done. Hmm. If we can get you up there, you could get in and open this door. Is that still puffballs using a pitch adjuster? I truly can't tell if that's a, a different voice actor. Judo throw the force. Yes, please. No, no, wrong. <laughs> I guess that's effective, but it's it still sucked. That wasn't very fun for me. Okay. Oh God. I missed. I missed one of them at least. There's so many going along with that particular ending there. It was a little overwhelming. We, we may have kind of botched that letting everyone out. There, I, I snagged I snagged the one I missed. I, that, I, I don't even know what language that was. One each. Ooh, I love this different style of selecting things. Adding a second, like, character was such a cool choice to, to make this more interesting. 
Because now instead of just four options, like, I don't even know what does that work out to. There's, oh wait, it is only still four. <laughs> that multiplication doesn't, doesn't become exponential the way that I thought it did. Grenade and crossbow to start with. Wow, that really sucked. Oh god, if he goes down, he's taking you with him. That would be really messed up. For your, like, one of the last things that happened to you is take an arrow to your eye and then know you're about to blow up to death. That guy's kind of a hero for saving his friends, really. Tasering a grenade. Well, I wouldn't have thought that the explosive power of that would have escalated so much. Electricity plus grenade, crazy explosion, apparently. Who would have thought? Sniper and crossbow. Just take separate targets. Let's see that. An instant replay. Sound warning. Doritos, Don Do Dor Dorters, MLT, fight me, mate, I'll wreck you. No scope. I like that they included a sound <laughs> warning. Rest in pepperonis, Illuminati. What? <laughs> What just happened? The achievements, noob slayer, XX, noob slayer, XX. Got to make sure to pay mind to those, uh, those X's. That's too good. That's the most, one of the most over the top insane endings. So, you said huh. Your inmate is out of cell. Yeah, some idiot. Hey, I truly don't I know how that these. one worked. Maybe they'll come in handy. Are we waiting for someone or? I thought you press. It seems like a pretty good, effective strategy. Blend in, pass by. Mm, this is like the non-confrontational, and this is the hiding in plain sight. Let's just distract them. You guys are going to wonder where that crazy hat came from, right? Oh. <laughs> that actually did work. We got them to go after the other other group of guys there. Oh, there's a lot going on here. There's a, some police officers, people getting hit by cars. Oh, I can't even click that guy hiding behind the rock there. That... There's a lot of bios to be tracked down here. I'm gonna do one more blind, like, attempt going kind of like left to right, trying to grab as many as I can. Oh, I couldn't even grab that officer off to the side. Probably like I had done in one of the other endings, I'm better off trying to, to look at what I'm unlocking and like learning what I may, might have missed based on that. I don't know, maybe I clicked everyone in that yard that I could have. It's Becoming difficult to keep track of. We'll revisit that in a moment. Adrenaline! Go full force! Wow. Yeah, she just kind of left holding him like uh, the bodyguard or something. I guess they do look pretty similar. I can see how you get them mixed up. For, I thought you grabbed Gregory on purpose so you could take him down. You just have to, like, have some better foresight and reaction times to go along with that, Henry. You could have you could have done something there. What, you think that will upset me? <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Now let's get out of here. That worked so much better than it had any right to whatsoever. If I go this way, there's going to be some top hat guys and stuff to, to start grabbing. Oh. Well, that was very uncool of you, guy. Looks like you needed one of these. Like, oh, like a crosswalk attendant. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What about the other guy who, like, fell down after and knocked her off? Ah. Nothing, nothing new there. All right, straight into the truck. Everyone load on up there. That's totally Markiplier, right? The, the like combed up hair, the glasses, the stubble. Didn't your mother tell you not to get into vans with strangers? I guess this is a truck. All right, we're doing a bio hunt here so I can check specifically on that. Mark Emu, Mark Emu. He said he'd try not to laugh, but then he laughed. That's grounds for capture. <laughs> there, there's your Markiplier laugh. <laughs> it's a little bit Joker E with its like untamed quality, but deeper and more like in your chest. <laughs> That's the best I can best I can do for my Mark my Mark laugh. <laughs> Oh, and also he has like his 30 part series of Try Not to Laugh. I was thinking that was more of like a Henry specific thing. No, that's like a series he does. Heart Heath Heathstone, not Hearthstone. <laughs> he guards the storage room with his friend. They love to talk about their favorite mobile card game. Is he also named after a different card game then? Isaac Binderson. 
which isn't really a card game. He guards the storage room with his friend. He loves collecting random trinkets. <laughs> so, okay, yes, they... I thought it would be funny if they were named oppositely. Like, this guy liked trinkets and was named after a card game, and he likes card games and was named after Binding of Isaac. Horace Johnson, one of the guards responsible for cell block patrol. It's not that eventful unless all the doors happen to open. Then all hell just kind of lets loose. It's hard to contain, truly. Oh, riding around in the tank. I could have clicked him. Well, I'm going I'm going back for that one quickly then, because that's going to be a very easy one to, to grab. <laughs> Andre Warzow. People have said he used to lead army, armies. He really knows his way around a tank, so maybe there's some truth. Uh, we've completed that entire page, which is very satisfying. Joe Joshin. Just joshing ya. He's heard that joke about seven million times. He should just claim to have invented it. Take ownership of it. Take it back. Don't let people use it against you. Mr. Cool. He rarely speaks. His charisma speaks for him. I actually know a guy whose last name is Cool, and I've always been so jealous that if he wanted to, he could go by Mr. Cool. Spelt, spelt to C-O-O-L, too. It's not even anything crazy. Gastro, a practitioner of the dark arts of fecromancer? That's not quite fecal. I think that's what it's going for, though, because he's a toilet wizard. He just has, like, a, a bath towel on his head. It's gross. Oh, and, like, gastrointestinal? It's a gross. It's a gross wizard. Punkhauser. He's part of a notorious German biker gang. He's the only member to have been caught so far. I'm, I, that seems like such a weird thing. Is he going to come back up? Uba. Found frozen deep in the snow on Svalbard. After, is, isn't that from, is that a real location or is that just from his dark materials? After thawing out, he regained consciousness and became hostile. Wait. Svalbard. Uba. That all sounds like things. That's not Avatar stuff, is it? I've just got that on the brain, maybe. Angry Mike, a wanderer traveling the desert, became notorious in the area and had to be collected. He's, he's kind of got like a, a Mad Max thing. He's, he's angry Mike. I'm just, I, I was thinking he had a Mad Max thing going on just because of the Mac, mask. And then as I said it, I realized his entire name is a, a Mad Max thing. Gus Garno. This guy is a four-armed alien. Oh, that's what crazy gibberish was being yelled. Not a language I didn't recognize. He's uh, got a very long, narrow face, kind of like myself. Maybe I'm a Garno. Apparently, he used to be a big-time racer. Oh, it's like a pod racer thing. <laughs> Ace Apex, the raddest dude in the wall. Just a total bro. When did I even click on a guy who had to just deal with it? Sunglasses on. I don't. I have no idea where that guy came up. Melvin Poolridge. Maybe he was standing next to this guy. Even though he's extremely nerdy, he loves hanging out with the boys. TM. Oh, like the Amazon series. That's funny because this game is like older than that. Possibly older than the comic it's based on. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's an, an Amazon thing. Derek Gurulik. I'm struggling with some names here. <laughs> Doesn't have much of a sense of humor, at least during work hours. Colby Phelps. So he's a great swimmer then? Thinks of himself as something of a detective. He can easily become hostile if he suspects any foul play. Oh no, it's Cole Phelps. What the hell? Not Michael Phelps. Is Michael Phelps the swimmer? Cole Phelps is the L.A. Noir guy. Dan the man. He wanted to go by Dan of Steel, but it was taken. <laughs> Just like a kind of a Superman reference, but not really. Little Mikey. He's honestly not supposed to be locked up at the wall. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and took the fall for someone else. Poor little Mikey. Pierre Francois, the most notorious baguette burglar in France. He was finally captured when he tried to take down the biggest bakery in all of France. <laughs> He's <laughs> got a really singular mission there. Babushka, well, Babushka, his, the way his mustache is trailing is great, is a female term. He wears the title with pride. He has a soft interior and looks out for the downtrodden. We got a, another fellow hero, Carl the Clown. He ran the huge circus scam 10 years ago. He avoided the bust multiple times by dressing like a clown. 
Polis Petrovich. Well, if you walk around saying that you're clown to clown, no one's going to question it and think it's a disguise. They'll think it's legit. Polis, he won a sweepstakes and got to name a planet after himself. So there's a planet named Polis? Sean S. E. Lemming. Ah, uh, yes, because he's the one who just jumped off, knocking Ellie down, right? A natural leader, mainly because it's the role he was assigned by, by Puffballs. Nisha Shashova <laughs> he used to be part of a crazy group of mercenaries. He was the only one to be captured, and he's honestly probably the most sane one now. I mean, he's in a thing with Marky Moo there, and that guy's clearly not sane. Peter Whalens. He did one of those scare people to bring down the land value so you could buy it for cheap ruses. But he was foiled by a group of kids and their dog. <laughs> we just got a Scooby-Doo victim here. Hmm, cowering behind a rock, hey? Like a coward? Let's see if we can tr track you down, excuse me. Oh, he might be, he might be over in this branch of this, oh, badass motorcycle. There has not been an incident oh. here in 50 years. Well, thanks, Ellie. You show up, this happens. You are going to regret everything. I'm guessing he hadn't been a part of this for 50 years. Is he already missing those tooth, or did you clobber him that hard? I mean, people aren't just going to, like, shrug off getting stop signed in the face. It's going to do some damage. Tricky the Clown does it for a reason. Convict allies. Thanks for the bailout. Not where I meant to go with that at all. Map, and I want to go back a step. Oh, well, let's, let's do the knee for- no, no, I want to do this first, because I'm still trying to track down well, the guy cowering behind the, the rock. Nope, that takes you to here. One more step back, I gotta do the toss. And once I get the guy behind the rock, that's probably all of them from this section. Where are you, coward? Oh, it's the police officer. I've tried to click him every single time. I wish I could click him. Oh, unless that's also the officer. Now I'm questioning that. Kyle Baxter, he's actually the Walls CCC, so he's not even police, he's the Chaos Containment Center liaison. Their goal is to get priority during any possible chaos incidents. I clearly missed someone during the prison breakout section, and I guess also part of the prison breakout, so I should go try and track them down quickly as well. But I'll do the knee, I just want to see the knee all wound up. You ah. win! Perfect. Kind of... Kind of went a little too all out there. Too effective. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't go mixing fighting game references like that. So it was a Smash Bros. knee, but then the you win in perfect, I actually don't know what those are from because I don't play a lot of fighting games. FPSs and fighting games, super lacking the knowledge. I, I love the intense music it plays for this section. Oh, there's a guy with a mustache there who just goes and starts wrestling with him that I totally missed. Oh, I got the guy with the hat running past as well. It's hard to tell precisely what they're going to look like when it shows them to you in black and white like that. I was looking for a guy with a, a gray mustache, and I almost missed him. Wild Willie. He thinks he's a prospector from the 1800s. Seems he went on a bit of a rampage, granting him a stay at the wall. And Jack Stickeye. I thought if there was a Markiplier reference, there had to be uh, a Jack Jacksepticeye reference as well. Possibly there would be a Dan the Diamond minecart. I don't think the Dan the Man in this game is meant to be that. A crazy loud Irishman. Not quite sure what he did to get locked up in here, but he probably deserves it. So there, I think we've got all... Everything from those particular branches, the prison break and all that. We'll go, go hunting for alternate failures now. <laughs> it's funny to try to fail. That is kind of the tagline for the series, where like failure is more fun than success. The two elevators we'll just walk on by. Third floor. We'll help them clear out maximum security. What do you think? That I like. Did that work? Go get the guards. Oh, they thought we were the guards. Looks like they bought your disguises. Everyone did, didn't they? I don't remember what video game that, like, alert... I, I'm sure it's in, like, a lot of different games to show you how much people are paying attention. Is that straight-up Hitman or, like... I can't think of specifically what that one oh, is. the elevator? Thanks. Can you believe this inmate outbreak? Crazy, That's a huh? little too yes, aggressive. Crazy. Oh, are you guys new here? Could have oh, held yeah. zero conversation. From the 8th floor. <laughs> From the cafeteria? <laughs> 
Nice try, inmates. Getting another L.A. Noir moment there. Why did we feel the need to strike up a conversation? We could have just been like, hey, and just been quiet. What is that guy? A detective or something? Oh, that's really funny that I accidentally kind of went about that in a roundabout way and kind of missed out on the joke here of why that was a thing. That's Colby Phelps. So it's just another part of the same reference rather than a separate L.A. Noir thing. The outside security with Ellie. Oh yeah, the judo throw. Go full Austin Powers with that one. Too good. Too effective. That's about the teamwork I expected. Yeah, we gotta learn each other's rhythms here. The Gravitor 2.0. Ugh, oh, thank god. There's one thing that always works in Henry, Henry Stickman games. It's messing with gravity, especially when using gadget game technologies, which is what that assumes, presumably is. Newton's sixth law. <laughs> oh my goodness. Use the gravity knob to reset gravity to the default setting. Puffballs knows his physics well. I'm learning a lot by playing these games. <laughs> Trying to do a tall guy <laughs> disguise. Oh, we'll do yeah, bounce bros first. Did you really need to be so extravagant? It looks like it just crumpled his spine. <laughs> The tall uh, guy. Yeah, last night, I kept facing the same deck. Hey, buddy. Pardon me. Don't mind me. Just passing through. I don't see how being taller was supposed to help here. Because they're on the lookout for two inmates. Sud suddenly, there's only one? It was a flawless strategy. I, I can't possibly see how that didn't work. Well, Ellie, you're a very effective helper. I feel like we, we had a good uh, dynamic going on there. I love the way you choked me up that wall, but I'm going solo. Ellie will remember that. The now we're getting some more telltale-ness. Any place the gates are open. And I'm like, look at how much I care. <laughs> Zero. I don't care. I've never played Hearthstone. I'm guessing the gates are open or open sesame or something mm -hmm. is a card. The command mm -hmm. melody. Mm -hmm. Oh, which... This totally came up in another game. That wand is like Zelda, right? Mm -hmm. Yes? My thinking of that is reinforced. We Didn't we learn nothing from last time that mind controlling people is very difficult? That worked shockingly well for one of them. Too bad you didn't know how to play like an ocarina. Or something? Wow, did I say that weird? I ended up buffing up my... Robbing them <laughs> full-on <laughs> uh, Skyrim style seems unnecessary. Damage. Caring too much to be able to stand. Did you really need all that? No loot left behind. I mean, I feel like within 10 hours of playing Skyrim, I played quite a lot of that. I installed a mod that was like infinite inventory space because I was really annoyed with having to manage mm -hmm. that because that's precisely what I did. I robbed everyone. Mm -hmm. Whoopee cushion with a rock tied to it. At that point, you might as well just throw a rock at him. Are you serious? That was totally you. You what? Don't you accuse me. You what? You what, mate? Ah, farts. The perfect decoy. Well, don't think it can be done. Gonna need to recruit Ellie. Oh, is she gonna, like, betray me? Is there gonna be, like, an aggressive ending where she's is betrayed and comes back and interferes power jump it's quite the sound effect i love seeing the slightly not quite identical sound effects to go along with things uh you can't you just can't like steal those sound effects for a major release like this work out the, those high jumps there hope you've been practicing in your cell keeping fit and energized wow that uh, was not the one I expected to work. Good for you, man. That's a wish. Wish I could jump like that. I'd be in the NBA right now. And they'd make a last dance documentary about me. Let's call the elevator. Right? I'm sure it won't be filled with guards. That we have to then, like, winter soldier our way past. Is this just going to be a winning Always ending? Ah. Never mind. <laughs> lunchtime already, fellas? Yeah, what you doing? How many lunchtime breaks you taking in a single day here? I see you. I see your ploy. You're definitely getting reported to the head complex manager, whatever his name was. 
And I'm sure they'll take my word for it, too. Balance! Of course. Ignore the danger. Don't look down. Just, just balance your way across. Hmm. Pipe wasn't very sturdy, fatso. I don't see how that's possibly my fault. I don't think anything could be done. I don't really know what good helium will do. Clearly, we just blew helium into that balloon with our own lungs. So it seems like we're, we wouldn't even need to inhale anything extra. It seems like we already have all the necessary possibilities. It was very Wario Land 3. Oh, that looks like Charles. I'm just used to that with the red headphones. Tanuki Leaf. <laughs> oh, there's another guard over there. Oh, I already have him, apparently. I have him, like, collecting him. It's, it's, that is what it is, but it feels weird to say it in that way. Uh, take the little dinghy. No one's going to be keeping an eye out for a tiny little craft like that. The seal runner? Make a smooth getaway. Someone I'm sure it could leave. cross I think it was Smith. the yeah, entire yeah, ocean. Probably off to see his family. Yeah. That's... Ghost inmate. Uh, the Smith thing is really funny because I'm pretty sure it was in infiltrating the airship. There's uh, the one path where you get in the elevator or you, like you disguise yourself and enter their secret meeting, and they're like, "Oh, Smith, go, good to see you. Go get out of here, buddy. Your your wife is having her baby," and they send you off. Smith is a generic name, so maybe it's just a joke on the sense of how common the name Smith is, but maybe. Ah, oh, but it's not still the Top Hat Clan, is it? Totally, I have no idea. I hope I hope that it's the same people mistaking us for Smith, and there's just some doppelganger in this world where everyone looks like plain stick figures. That Henry and the Smith fella just happen to look that little bit more alike than the rest. That was a pretty smooth path. I didn't have many failures at all. I found the... The endings, I'm starting to think through Puffballs' logic here and, and finding these things. All on my own, the fact that it has like a, a key start like that. Hmm, I guess it is rocket science. I think you're mixing up the staging process a little bit. The SS Annie. Are you okay? Is that us commandeering the ship there? That was very, like, ominous. Oh, but now we're getting revenge. Did you think none of the crew would notice an unscheduled departure? This is a weird thing, but I feel like Markiplier or someone uses that screenshot as their thumbnail. And so I've seen that image a lot just over the years. It just comes up in recommendeds and things like that. Well, I got to redo that one. So I, I got to collect that guy. Click, click, spamming the heck out of right click for the second it comes up. Well, I guess I guess I had a little bit more time to like think about that and react than I thought I did. 11, 11 fails to go. Moving back to the docks, the Shadozer, which like, that's, that's a, re that's a reference to something, right? I tried to look it up and like everything that came up was a Henry Stickman thing. I thought this was a reference to some like character's catchphrase from some 90s TV show or something. The unseen stick is the deadliest. Blend in, become a shadow. I'm gonna be honest with you. This one isn't that great. I mean, so that means it's probably gonna work wonders then, right? Because Gadget Gabe's reviews have not been overly reliable, to say the least. There's never a good way to, oh no, <laughs> to, to come out of these failures. You turn into a puddle of liquid, how do you become not liquid? You turn into a shadow, how do you become not shadow? Now you're but a shadow of your former self. Go full Metal Gear on them. No one will ever suspect a thing. Huh? Nice and casual, just crawl your way just across. <laughs> He looked quite pleased. He's like, oh, a box? Wow. Hey, at least you weren't found. Sooner or later, we're in the long con there. Someday that one will pay off. Someday after they finish their game and the guards change and then the complex is defeated and everyone goes home. There's no one left guarding those docks. Then it'll pay off. Back to the bowels of the complex. Use our sticky plunger shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? A-I... Uh, A-E-I-O-U? Why the vowels? A-U. A-U. A-U? 
A. What? What? Oh, it's a it's a moon based alpha thing. I was kind of like, what the is it? Is it the joke? Sometimes why? Is that because you know a few of the endings are just like why? Why did you do that? But uh, let me try that again. Ah, oh, you can't redo it, but it's totally a thing where there's like a text-to-speech in that game and people would just spam the heck out of different vowels and then the game wouldn't know how to like respond or like read it and it would just kind of be like and just make ridiculous sound effects. And I guess there's plunger shoes in that game or at least shoes that look like they would have plungers on them. The bungee is the only one we hadn't done here. Which, I mean, it'll work right until... We get to the bottom, and I kind of figured, you know, you'd go back up. Not a lot of give to that rope. Did, did you just bungee jump with a plain rope? Yes, that was the first mistake. First of several. Lined up nice and effectively. But what did you possibly harpoon on the other side? Hmm. That seemed like it would have hurt a, just a little bit. The long shot only hooks onto wood things. Luckily, you hit one. This cool guy wearing his cap backwards. Is he the same cool guy from the other... All right, we're doing a bio research thing here. There's another guy who used, like, a rap name. Uh, Mike Mulligan, it's not. Kind of a slacker. He likes to find a secluded place and mess around on his phone. Abraham Jocelyn. A jolly lad. When in a good mood, he treats his friends to lunch on their break. It's, everyone, we're going to go get lunch together. And then just a couple of boys who love them some lunch. Joris Borger doesn't speak English too well, but he's found a crew at work that he loves to hang out with. I feel really good for Boris. That's really nice, man. It's hard to put yourself out there like that. Travis Ump. He enjoys his job at the wall because he gets to hang out and chill with his friends. That doesn't mean he slacks off. Well, these are a really wholesome group of boys here. Sign them up for the wholesome crew. Olaf Nordgren. He usually makes his own lunch, but won't turn down a free meal. It's funny how often characters in this game are bald and have a beard or have no facial hair and are have a head of hair <laughs> or are just all, all together bald. Very, very few of them end up having baldness or, sorry, have a head of hair and have facial hair, and that's probably why this guy stands out so much more than any other. I think about him all the time. He's the, one of the hairiest characters in the whole series, and I guess that's why he's he feels unique. Nikolai D. Trim, a master of the slab squat. He runs a class on it twice a week in the rec room. <laughs> These guys playing cards decided to just eat squats instead of sits. And Matthias Guardsmith, don't tell anyone, but his mom bought him those earmuffs, and he's a bit embarrassed about it. Oh, man, I love telling people that. Like, I'm pretty sure my mom bought me this shirt. <laughs> Isn't it, like, awesome to be like, yeah, free shirt. I love this shirt. It looks great. <laughs> I don't trust my own taste well enough. Captain Laszlo Ugovich, the captain of the Naval Division of the Wall. For s some reason, they have a Navy. <laughs> he's in charge of one ship, the only one the Wall has. And Milos Krakowski, a recruit in the Wall's naval forces. They run sea-based retrieval operations. I mean, this guy is dedicated. Very intense as well. He's a, he's a gnarly, gnarly guy. Don't want to mess around with Milos. We're narrowing in on, on collecting all of these guys. Ooh, I missed him. At what point did I, like commandeer uh, a helicopter or something. I cannot figure out when this guy... Have I, have I not done that? I better like move through a few other endings here because maybe I just haven't encountered the segment where that would be a thing. Yeah, pretty easy. Come to think of it, those boingers are kind of loud. I guess that's why that would fail where the power jump succeeded. Well, only one more to go I through. Just run straight past him. Doing. Was that the convict? Full on anime uh, arms. Yeah, I think so. Ain't what no are we supposed to it. do when someone tries to escape again? Uh, I think shoot him. Ah, yes, that sounds right. 
That's no fair. That gun was intense. Bet you thought it was just a spear. Oh, yes, I forgot that's what he had. Uh, what is that a reference to? Like the pronged spear that shoots lasers. I've definitely seen that in like a superhero movie, video game, or something. Feels like kind of like the Wakandan weapons. But this game is older than Black Panther. That's not even all the fails. Where am I missing fails? Phone a friend. Oh, there's another branch here. I never called the Top Hat Clan. Pfft. There they are. That's yes, why I no. couldn't find it. I missed Henry? a branch entirely. Where are you? Yeah, in the complex called the Wall. Oh uh, yeah, yes, of course. So we'll uh, we'll be right there. Everything's Thanks, guys. Like, uh, I'll let you know when we're close. Everyone's so reliable. They're so good about just coming to help. Where, where exactly are you? How did you guys find it so easily? Presumably it's a secret complex, right? Uh, I kind of want to go back a half second again. So many characters show up in this moment here that I think I just kind of have to start clicking and hope I'm... Ugh, it's too many. I have no idea. We'll, we'll wait and see by checking the bio section later. So, undercover agent. Sneak on through. Works every time. I'm undercover. Yeah, I'm here to break you out. What? We spent three years undercover. What a waste. Good work, dude. Wait, he was undercover for three years just in case? Someone ended up in there? That doesn't seem like a great long-term strategy. Oh, there's so many cafeteria people that I've I've potentially missed there. Regin oh, that's totally the wrong guy. Damn it, the bios are getting flipped around. Lemoy Krauts? Ah, oh, that's the wrong guy, too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I don't get to know your name. But maybe I don't even want to know your name, man. You really botched that in, like, every conceivable way. Neurotoxin. <laughs> Something wrong with these mashed potatoes. There we go. Oh, did they forget to hand out your gas mask beforehand? <laughs> oh, they really messed people up. They really got, like, zombified. A drill pod. Oh, shit. <laughs> right. The, the Arnold character. Get to the chopper. But then we have our very own get to the airship moment. Uh, there's like a, a funny one minute long YouTube video where Puffballs found the old audio file where it's just him going like, <laughs> trying to like get the voice right for Arnold. Slingshot. Thanks for helping out, boys. But not the boys, TM, just boys. This seems like a good place to keep a medal. Click here for a medal. Well, I mean, you gotta work for it. Hmm, that still seems too easy. Nah, I'm up here now. Ugh. Now I'm down here. Ugh. How did this happen? Whoa, this seems like a good spot. Sure, how's it going? Enjoying the game so far? Well, yes, I'm right at the end of it, and I did enjoy it all the way through. Ah, I'm glad. No problem. So, what should we talk about? The fact that you have multiple Schwarzenegger references, including the chill and the chopper, and that there's not an Arnold-related medal as far as I've come to tell, and I wish that there was. I bet you don't know the capital of Mag Mongolia off the top of your head. I bet you're just pressing OK without even reading what I'm saying. I am reading. I was just hopeful that you would give me the answer, because no, I don't know. And you're just going to lord that over me? Uh, what kind of BS is that? Asking whether or not I know the answer to something and not supplying the answer? Like, pretending like you're so smart and you don't know either? It's important. Don't skip my words. Uh, dogs have feet. Or do they only have hands? You're asking the wrong questions. Press the sun in the sneaky ending. <laughs> referencing back to the, the shoop de whoop What? 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 Alright, I got tired of that spot. This seems nicer? Which one is correct? That! Oh, you guessed right. I have a confession, though. They were both correct. Will you press the rightmost button? Hmm. <laughs> this is uh, some circular logic that I can't possibly win. You liar! Soz, don't press this button. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It just sends you back to the main menu. Huh. I'm curious if there is an achievement for kind of, like, working through that. Oh, wake up and smell the snow. That Gary guy has his own achievement. 
Stuck the landing. Nailed it. Waldorf. Oh, still haven't found him. And there's a secret ending, which I, I still haven't found. But now I'm curious if it has something to do with actually, like, navigating that correctly. This! You guessed right. They're both correct. This time I'll say, yes, you liar! I guess it's- I guess I'm a liar either way. Yes, it wouldn't have mattered. I was trying to skip through that. Didn't mean to do that. Don't press this button. Press this one. There we go. I accidentally went through that loop like several times because I would just start clicking through things quickly and accidentally hit that one. This button will take you back to the beginning. Well, I don't want that. Do I? Retry. Retry is better than the menu. Fooled ya. Oh, a nice one. But now you have to press the retry button to continue. Hmm? Guess I can't fool you, huh? Alright, alright. Take your medal. Oop. Come on, don't you want it? Try to corner it. That's the ticket. Easy, easy, almost there. Careful, that's it. You did it! Claim your prize. Easy achievement. It's it's nice and easy. <laughs> was that technically the, the secret medal? It was. So that's all the secret ones, which I'm very happy to have discovered those with no hint whatsoever. That's that's fun. But this one, I like most of these, I, I truly don't know. <laughs> I, I like, have no idea how to find those. All right. We're like one, two fails away. One fail. A sick ride. Oh, yeah. We're bringing back our epic scoots. The big old scootsy. That was a close one, Henry. But I'm not going to pull you up. See, without you, I become the leader of the Toppet clan again. I just wanted to look you in the eyes as I took it all back. Ultimate betrayal. Goodbye. Ellie, save me! Although this isn't a branch where I don't think I ever worked with her. <laughs> wow, the betrayed. Damn, son. He seemed pretty underwhelmed when he was like, ooh, close call. Turns out he had no plans of, of truly saving us in that moment. What a jerk. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Well, I assume Henry doesn't die. Just splash down? Ha! Huh. One last fail to be found. The magnet. I guess not every win is gonna be good. It's some magnet. Well, you see, because of entropy, the, uh... Alright, I can't BS my way through that one. <laughs> There are all the achievements for endings and the roll call, the notorious failster. We can go through the, the remaining bios, the ones that it'll let me look at. Reginald Copperbottom seems he's been managing the top hats in Henry's absence. He'll have to go back to being second soon. A few of these lunchmen people, Gordon Smith. Oh, is this Smith? Having a newborn at home causes him to lose a lot of sleep. He's been falling asleep at work a lot lately. Lately, There is the payoff of the Smith joke, just like I was hoping. Joey Walnut tends to order enough food for three people and eat it all on his own. Sal Mann. He forgets to bring his uniform into work at least once a week. Arnold Schwartz. Always the loudest one in the room. His voice is booming for his size. Wilhelm Craighouse. I feel like he might have been in, in the uh, airship. He may struggle with technology, but when it comes to action and combat, he excels. Sure Shot Sherman. <laughs> One of the top riflemen in the Top Act clan. He's leading the mission to rescue Henry. And Thomas Chestershire. He enjoyed Henry's brief leadership. People could tell he was bummed out when Henry went missing. Aw, oh, thanks Thomas. Thanks for, for rooting for me. Seems like no one else really had my back. Do I have any inkling of how to do any of these? I thought I would know how to do that one. I unfortunately am probably going to have to use some walkthroughs to at least get me going on these, if not the entire solutions. When you're 90 minutes into a game and you know that the sequel is approximately three times longer, you tend to look for some shortcuts at the end. Like it's going to take me like three or four hours. That's nuts. Out at the docks with the shadozer. The, the shadow dozer, I'm realizing, is kind of what it has going on here. 
the name didn't make a lot of sense at first. But instead of looking for the sun, we need the moon. But he gets he gets t hidden, covered up before you can truly do it. So that's two failed shoop de whoops, and that still isn't it. So there might be another one. You do need three. The third one is the moon in the like credit sequence of the presumed dead ending. Here, the moon there. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, oh, it's so sad. Poor guy. Waldo Waldorf is just hidden behind uh, that rock there. So you don't even you don't even need to be playing one of the endings. Honestly, this makes the most sense because this feels a little bit more like a Where's Waldo screen or image. I have my theory for for nailed it. I need the the power jump. And if I just kind of like, okay, he just, he does the jump on his own. There he falls. There he falls. So that first one goes well. My theory is that I just need to like click or something. This one is fine. I don't think I need to help him out here, but here just, I'm clicking a bunch. Hey, okay. So he sticks the landing. Not, ah, okay. It's probably the same thing where you have to get like a couple of them. I needed help. I couldn't figure <laughs> figure out where else there's landing moments. Gotta do the helium. He crawls through this vent to land on the docks. Ah, I, I didn't click at the right time. But I think the leaf is actually another one. Because he turns into the tanuki and then starts flying around. I'm clicking, I'm clicking, I'm clicking. Nice. Stuck a landing. I did not remember Henry being so damn clumsy. I'm clicking a little early there. There we go. Stuck the landing. Totally nailed it. And now this Gary one. That's the last one I need. And I don't have a clue. I, he showed up in like the cafeteria. I think. I don't know where else he is or what to do with it. Oh, he shows up five times in the game. There's a lot. <laughs> I think I did click on at least a couple of them. I'm pretty sure I got the one in the docks. He shows up like legit right over here. That might even be him there that we're seeing. I got the one where he runs out of that uh, door off in the distance. I like very frantically went back and got that one. I noticed him in the cafeteria, but because I already had his bio unlocked, I kind of thought that I had like fully uh, clicked or, or like, that, that I had already got it during one of my spastic clicking sections, so I didn't even go back looking for it. He's right over there. There we go. He starts to, that's kind of cool. He, like, walks away when you, when you activate it to, to let you know. So that one I saw, but never clicked. After tossing the hat, right before we go out into, like, the complex yard, there's one standing kind of off to this side. There he is. Got him. Uh, and there's one more also in the cafeteria, but accessed in a different way. They quickly show up. It's going to do a zoom out of the cafeteria. There he is, chilling up there. Oh, one of those I must have spotted without ever clicking. I think of any of them, I probably didn't click this guy out here. I just, like, witnessed him. Oh, do you know what? I even right-clicked, maybe I, I don't know, I right-clicked the guy who, who runs out of that one door after doing the sword stabbing. I think it's when he runs out, but I right-clicked him to get the bio. I probably never actually did a left-click, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ready for him. There it was. There was the fifth one. You have to right-click one of them at least once to get the bio and left-click all five of them to get that proper achievement. So with that, that's all the endings, all the fails, all the achievements, all the bios. So now that I've done that, I've 100%ed every past game and we can finally move forward to completing the mission, which based on 164 endings. Oh my god, there's so many bios. This is gonna take me like four hours. It's... I better have some like dinner, set some serious time aside. I gotta figure out if I'm gonna do that as one long episode or what. That's gonna be such a crazy undertaking. Ah, the detail on that screen is so cool. It looks so inviting. I wanna play it right now, but I need a, a break. <laughs>
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.